Mr. Yarden, uh, I'm used to shalom, but not shalush. When did they start shalush. doing this? The shalosh? Yeah. I think last year they started when my mom not was really here. Much this year. I mean, do you laugh or do you smile when you hear it? I smile when I hear it. I love to hear the yeah. shalosh in Hebrew, yeah. And you gave them plenty to talk about today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of shaloshes. <laughs> Uh, Yarden, how good does it feel? You got into a rhythm, obviously, early. You scored 12 points in the first quarter. But you're in a rhythm with a bunch of different teammates, too. I mean, the rotation was pretty uh, spread out tonight. What's it? How good is it that you can be productive with a lot of different teammates on the floor and that the team was productive? Um, I feel like our coach is doing a great job of like trying to make all of us is one unit. And everyone knows the role. So. It doesn't matter who is on the court. Everyone knows what they're supposed to do and where they should be. So it's kind of easy to play with Mac or Lily or Lexi, who is coming from the bench. It's it's fun to play with all of them. Uh, Mackenzie, the team shot 71% from the field. Just what goes into being able to score at will like that? Um, I think it was just getting a lot of high percentage shots. We knew that, you know, we could um, get downhill on this team, attack the rim, and I thought we did a great job of that, not settling, you know, obviously we are a great three-point shooting team, but um, not settling for threes all the time and trying to trying to get to the rim, draw contacts, draw fouls, and um, get some high percentage shots. <laughs> Mackenzie Yarden's obviously had plenty of good games over the last couple of years, but 30 points and 12 for 14. Did you see a different look in her eye coming into this game? And just what was it like being out there with her tonight? Yeah, I mean, I don't think this comes to a surprise for any of us. Um, Yarden's extremely talented. We know this. And we knew, you know, a game like this for her is, is bound to happen, especially when she's getting the ball in the mid-post area. She's um, very dangerous and, um, you know, I don't think anyone's surprised, but obviously we're all impressed and super excited for her um, for having a career night like this. Uh, Mackenzie, you went six for seven from the field and you went 10 and 13 from the free throw line. I know it took a while for you to kind of get your rhythm, get going, but after you guys got going and you were able to get those points in the paint, I mean, how did it feel, 48 points in the paint tonight? Yeah, I mean, our, our goal was 50 points in the paint, so we were uh, a little short of that. But, um, you know, I I think it was just, a, you know, a matter of um, just like I said before, getting those high percentage shots. And I wasn't getting a ton of looks, you know, early on in that first half. But Yarden was, I thought Sarah was, Sydney, uh, Lily, all those, all those other people were chipping in as well. So I knew that um, I just had to let the game come to me. Yarden, this is your second career high in points you've set this year. I know this one wasn't on your birthday, but how good did it feel? Um, it feels great, but I didn't really think about it. Like during the game, I didn't know how many points I have. So I feel like I'm trying to get better every day, and we are trying to get better as a team every day. And we're trying to focus on the defensive side of the ball. And I think we have to get better a lot. So we have a work to do. Um, for either of you, I know Coach talks a lot about free throw percentage, and it was 24 of 34 tonight. Did she say anything to you guys throughout the game about free throws? Um, I mean, at halftime, she just said, you know, we got to put them in, got to step up there with confidence. Um, you know, 70% um, is not going to cut it. Uh, we need to knock down those free throws. We work on it every day in practice. We just got to continue to have that confidence when we get to the line um, and continue to, you know, knock down those free throws um, because, you know, we got by missing 10 free throws tonight, but we do that in the Big Ten season. It's just it's not going to be good enough. Uh, Mackenzie, nine days since the last game. How, how do you take advantage of that time, reflect on where the team is, where you are as a player, and, and not turn rest into rust? Obviously, it didn't tonight, but what do you do to, to take advantage of that time? Um, just, you know, continuing to, you know, have that hunger to get better, within each and every practice, no matter what the focus is, um, whether it's, you know, shooting, um, rebounding, defense, um, whatever side of the ball we're working on throughout practice, just continuing to really be focused and locked in on getting better. And, um, you know, it was finals week last week, so I think everyone 
um, you know, it was mentally a little uh, bit draining, but I think we still, you know, came in and, and got some good work in, even though we had the, the stress of finals. And now, um, you know, for the next few weeks or so, we can just really focus on basketball now that school's done. Yarden, I know you said you weren't keeping track of how many points you had tonight, but was there any moment in this game when you started to, re you know, you could really sense, like, I'm feeling it tonight? Um, I felt good tonight, but I, di I, I really, I didn't know how many points I have. So I just tried to, to play and be aggressive and, I don't know, just play.